Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim, and in this video we're going to continue the process of modeling our 3D character or sculpting our 3D character. In the previous lesson we did some rough modeling, rough sculpting of some of the proportions and some of the shapes that our character encompasses our character. Now in this lesson we're going to join all those shapes together, remesh it, and actually begin the process of sculpting in some of the details for our character. So with that being said, let's just skip all the fluff and hop right into it. Let's go. All right, so boom, here's our character. Pretty much where we landed at the end of the day with all of our uh, all of our armor, the rough sculpt of the character, where we landed, um, as you see. So what we're gonna do, first and foremost, we're gonna break this up into two parts. We're gonna have the body, and we're gonna have all of the armor or accessories, or two separate things, or, or we could just, I would even say, or we could just split everything up. So we have the helmet, We'll have the shoulder pads, we'll have the chest plate slash back uh, plate. We'll have the, you know, the pants. Um, we'll have these thigh pads and then, the, and then the shin guards. So we might have all multiple elements and then also the shoes. So we're just gonna break that up into multiple elements. So first and foremost, you wanna just start to, I say, if you are at this stage, I highly urge you go to file save you know save a copy and save the copy where you're at at this stage stay save this copy as version one save this copy as version one so you can always go back to this stage because again this is the rough modeling stage before you get into the actual you know high detail so you can use this as a guide or as a as a checkpoint for your actual model so what we're going to do is just grab all of these I'm tempted to keep all those together, but I'm gonna join them. So once you control uh, left click, I mean shift, shift left click to select all of these, you can push control J to join them. And when they all turn one color, that means they're joined together. So again, if I were to grab this, now I could just move it like that. So that's one object now. And I'm gonna actually delete out of that. Because one thing that I noticed, I'll go back so you can see. One thing that I noticed that we still haven't applied all the modifiers. So we want to make sure we apply, go ahead and apply all of our modifiers to all of our objects. So let's just do that. Apply all, apply all. I'm just actually instead of joining these all together off the bat, I'm going to just save these into a collection. So we're going to save this into a collection. Right click, once you select them all, move to collection. New collection, helmet. Okay. Let me see. This helmet right here. Boom, let me turn the visibility of the helmet off. Boom, that's perfect. Let's do the same thing. Um, Let's just call this torso. Well, we have to go ahead and apply all our modifiers. I almost forgot. New collection. We're going to call this chest armor. Torso armor. All right, now that we have it all in the collection, we're just going to turn the visibility off. All right, do the same thing for the um, for his little pants. Boom, all right, so now we have body. We have everything we need to continue. Right, right, all right. What I would do here, because 
This is actually where I would have saved it as a version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Save that as a version. Perfect. All right. Now turn them back off. Again, I'm just trying to save it at a good stopping point as if I were, you know, modeling this. I probably should have, shouldn't have did it where I joined everything, but it's all right. I mean, uh, applied everything, but it'll be all right. This is just the sculpt. So when you get to this point, what you want to do is join things together. Now, also with that being said, it is good to, if you toggle everything on to give to give you a better sense but then you could toggle the selectability of everything off so right now we'll just turn everything and make it non-selectable that we're not working on so we're going to work on the body if you don't see this arrow here you can hit down right here and make it blue click it to be blue and it'll start it'll show right here all right so we're gonna rematch this. Go ahead and go in the sculpt mode. Did I join these together? And you can tell if you joined it together, if you click it and both of them highlight, that means they're joined together. I probably could just rejoin the whole body, really, at the end of the day. But I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one, one at a time. So we're gonna start with the head. All right, sculpt. Now, in the sculpt part, when you tab, either you could go to sculpt like this, or you can go to sculpt by going to the top menu and selecting scope. We're gonna just make this whole thing bigger now. Because now we're just gonna get real intimate with the actual character. So we're gonna remove all of our references and just really just focus on the character and the shapes. So, again, you can hold down tab. If you have the tab pie menu open, go into sculpt mode that way, or you can go over here, sculpt mode, like that. Boom. All right. Once you're in sculpt mode, the most important part, well, the most important part in sculpt mode is understanding this area here. All of these different types of brushes. Get very, very familiar with all of, all of the different things you can do with these brushes, right? Now... You can get overwhelmed by trying to use every single brush. As we go through this process, you'll start to realize which brushes do what and how to utilize them. So pay attention to the difference between the draw brush, because this a draw brush is a good one that I use a lot. Sharpen brush or draw sharp would be one. Uh, clay, not so much, but you might use it. Clay strips for sure, like super important clay strips. Um, Thumb, sometimes, not really. Layer, super important. Inflate, not really. Blob, not really. Crease, important. And smooth, one of the most important. Um, and you can use flatten and things like that. But again, definitely just get a feel for, get a feel for this, like create a, create in your character, like just play around and see what, how it affects when you uh, do the sculpting. Now you might notice, this is one of the things I like to show, you might notice like how much, how many faces are on this actual character. This isn't going to give you a lot, a lot of detail. As you see, this nose is not getting a lot of detail because this, this vertice and this vertice and this vertice can only make the shape so round, right? So we're going to have to increase, increase the actual vertices or faces of this actual character so it can become more smooth. So that's essentially what we're going to do. And that's called, let's go over here. That's called remeshing right here. So you can find remeshing if you go, when you get into, let's go back to object mode. It's not there, but when you go into scope mode, you'll see this new me pops up right here. You simply want to go to remesh and set your value for your remesh. I don't necessarily do adaptive because I want it consistent all the way around the, all the way around the, um, the character, but when you're ready, you can hit, just hit remesh. And I know there's a shortcut to it, I'm not sure, but before you even start the process, make sure you are mirroring over the X axis. Make sure you're mirroring over this X axis before you even start. 
I know they have this dino. I'm, 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 I'm kind of reluctant on even sharing this. They have this dino topology. This is a, this is a, I wouldn't call it new anymore, but a newer feature. Um, use it. If you, if you know about it, use it discreetly. Don't, this is what I highly just recommend. Just remesh and remesh and remesh and remesh and remesh over and over and over again. Don't necessarily worry about, you know, um, yeah, I'm gonna set this to point two. So let's see what this remesh does at point two. All right, and you see, automatically you can already tell like how everything went from this pretty, I call it pretty, but pretty, everything has quads, it's square shaped, everything looks good to this, you know, things have diamond shapes, things have these shapes because this that's part of sculpting and that's kind of what I was talking about before like you don't want to it's tempting to go right into this and just do remesh and make it all pretty and fancy but you won't be able to optimize your model until you remesh it again or remesh it m manually so let me just go back in here uh and I think I could get more detail so let's do point 1 let's see what that does Point one is a little better. So we're just gonna start at point one. And this is what I definitely suggest. As we as we get more and more detail, we're gonna increase this more and more. I don't suggest you increase this too fast. Don't go straight out the gate and increase this, increase this to a crazy amount because for one, it's gonna slow down your machine. And you don't know how much, this is just for the head. You don't know how much you're gonna need for the body. You don't know how much you're gonna need for the torso, things like that. So you wanna start off low, as low as possible, start to get the general shape, and then revisit it again, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go to that clay strips boot, clay, clay strips tool, brush, I mean, increase the radius a little bit. Let's just start to push. If you, if you push control, it'll pu push it in. If you just draw on it, it'll pull it out, right? So we're just wanting to push it in because we want to get that nose. We want to get somewhat of that mouth too. So we're going to do a pull out on the mouth part. So pull out like so, push in, push in on the nose, push in right there. Let me see if I can rotate around this like that. Like so, again, you're just getting a real rough of your character right now. You see that, now that nose has a little more definition than it did before. We're gonna push these eyes in a little bit. At least just get the, get the indention going on the eyes. See what that start to look like. Pull that cheek out a little bit. Now you might be like, man, I can't tell what's going on. If you were having trouble telling what's going on and you wanted to make this a lot more, a lot more where you can understand it better or it looks, you can tell how it looks. I guess I, I'm, I'm trying to consider that you, you might not have, your eye might not be trained uh, to see through the, through the wireframe. If you want to turn your wireframe off, go to, you know, the, the, I want to say this object properties. The object properties and go down to visibility. I mean view 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 viewport display and just hit that wireframe. And now you should be able to see the character a lot better. So now you can see like you can start to see. And if you want to see even better, you can add the matte cap. We'll just put this material. Yeah. Boom. All right. And if you want to change the material on the mat cap, you just simply go to mat cap here, hit this, and you could choose any of these that you can visualize the best. 
So I usually like to work in this because it gives a little bit of shininess, but not too much. But you can simply go to something like this if you want to. If that helps you visualize it better. This is a little too shiny for me, for my personal taste. But it will give you a good sense of, you know, your shapes. Now you can even envision like these could be, you know, these are lips. You can start to envision it even though there's very low detail right now. Even though it's very, very low detail, you can start to envision what that looks like. I'm going to just leave that there. I'm going to leave that. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. Let's continue on. Let's continue on sculpting this head. So sculpt. We're getting a rough. I know he looks a little scary right now because he just doesn't have enough detail and he doesn't have eyeballs yet. And I'm not going to add his. Uh, we can add eyeballs. Let's add eyeballs just so he can start to form a form around his eyeballs. So if you want to add eyeballs, the most simple way to do that will be just create another shape, actually. Um, Actually, we have the default shape down here somewhere. We have the Z. Go into edit mode, scale down, 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 down. Scale it up a little bit more, a lot bit more. So you move it over a little bit like that. Now what I want to, what you want to do is for one, remove that cast modifier. We're going to go ahead and apply the subdivision surface. Remember we did all of this in the previous part. So you're getting kind of a refresher right now. I'm going to put this eye right here and we're also going to do a, um, mirror modif- or not mask mirror modifier so it'll flip to the other side we go ahead and apply that we go ahead and apply that and it should be good to go so now if we go in here and edit one side let me see we go here and edit once well let's just keep the mirror modifier for now Let's just keep that as a mirror modifier for now. So if we edit one side, it'll change this side. Cause I don't, I should have had that into the rough sculpt, but we didn't do that. But you can see the eyes are crazy looking right now, but we're gonna fix that eventually. So just bear with us. Again, this is the part where people, people tend to give up. They're like, man, I can't sculpt because they give up too soon and don't really get into the detail when really you just want to focus on making sure the proportions are correct. So if you were to, let's say, if you were to zoom all the way out like this, the character looks all right. You know what I'm saying? Again, that means your proportions are correct. If you can't zoom out and you can't see that far, just squint your eyes. If you squint your eyes, and if you squint your eyes and it looks like what you're, the form you're going for, then you're on the right track, right? So just squint your eyes. 
check him from all angles scrunch your eyes and this is definitely his ear or whatever this is is definitely something that's not supposed to be there so i'm thinking i was mainly looking at the eyes though so the eyes look good right here i feel actually let me just see something real quick they, let's put the helmet on to see what that looks like okay with the helmet on it it's, it doesn't match our let's move it down that means his eyes need to be down here somewhere All right, so let's take the helmet back off. It's cool. All right, let's go back in. Let's go back into sculpt mode with the head, and just sculpt, sculpt where the eyes are now. So instead of doing a clay strips, now you can go into and this is another one I like to use. The elastic deform, and that's pretty much just gonna grab your area and pull it to where you want it to go. So now you can just start to form this however you want. Like so. I'm gonna put that helmet back on because I wanna see it with the helmet. Like where are we at? Like so, again, we're just in the rough stages. Watch, you'll see how this how this changes up in a few. Because this is a very rough. Now what we want to do, when you get to the where it's starting to look crazy, right? Let's take the helmet off. Where it's starting to look crazy like this, what you want to do is smooth it. Now, so you want to grab the smooth, go in here and just smooth these areas. Where you get a rid of all of those little sharp points. So you want to smooth it. Make it look good again. And that's why sometimes if you go in and do the extreme, once you smooth it out, it'll look better again. Or look, you know, decent again. Now we're just gonna add clay strips. And you're gonna, at the end of the day, you're gonna just do this over and over and over again until you get it to where you want. Oops. Until you get it to where you want. All right, boom. Again, if you're doubting how it looks, go ahead and just back up and see how's that looking. I'm already can tell. I want that nose down. Pull that nose down a little bit. I probably kind of pulled the whole face down, and I'm starting to like it better. Pull that head up. Pull that bottom part up at least. Let's decrease the radius. Because now, what is backed out like this, we're grabbing more, but we don't want to necessarily grab more. We would just want to kind of grab areas to make it to kind of mold the shape a little better all together.
Now that we've joined that together, we can do a do a remesh. I'm gonna turn this remesh down. I think it's I'm like it's doesn't feel like it's doing it because it's probably the units or set the feet instead of inches maybe so now we do the remesh I want to do it at point at three inches or one inch yeah now we cooking all right I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out. Here. Like so. We'll get this nice and smooth. Go ahead and smooth our chest out a little bit. Again, you wanna go extreme, because when you smooth, it'll keep that detail. I'm gonna smooth this out. You see with the with the layers brush it's like just like almost like drawing on like you're just adding layers to whatever you're doing just um, add some layers make that shoulder pop a little bit again control it does the opposite so we're gonna pull this out this bicep out like so pull this tricep out I'm trying to think which way the triceps go this way I'm gonna pull that tricep out like so push this part Another part of the body I like is the triceps. Push this part in like that. Just pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Let's go over here. And that's essentially, honestly, what you want to do. You just want to do a little bit, bit at a part, move on to the next part, do a little bit at that part, move on to the next part until you just kind of get to so you get it to kind of what you're looking for. Back up again. If you back up, you can get caught up. You see, you're so far in the details, but if you back up, you you'll be able to see, you know, what it kind of looks like, general. And I think it's starting to look, it's starting to come along, right? His bicep can be a little on the side, a little less. And again, we're just gonna. Yeah, continue along that line, these lines, right? Okay. I think I'm going to save the fingers for last. Because I need those fingers to really be detailed. And it's like they're too close together and they're turning into one object, and I don't want that. So. He got a heart on his chest. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's funny.
see certain angles when you catch certain angles like this like when you're modeling and you see a certain angle you want to make sure you just like if if possible just go all in on that angle like because this encompasses the silhouette of your character your character is going to look like this and the more you want to say the more appealing you can make it look you'll start to notice that in your final model as far as when you start to animate when he hits certain poses and things like that it'll just hit so you want to start to explore that at this phase like and this is the part where you can even think of this is like almost Disney fine your character because it's really just going into going into exaggerating some of these body parts artistically. Now we're not necessarily too concerned about it as much as anatomy as now we're just more like what's artistically what feels good. So I guess we can just go ahead and start to do these fingers. One at a time now. I'm gonna just add them one at a time. Cause they seem to join, not like I want them when I do it. And I wanna see something when I remesh it, will it mess up? Cause if so, we're gonna back out of it, what, what we just did. So let's say we go in here, sculpt, remesh. Yep, it does mess up. So what we're gonna have to do, guys and girls, is just do all of the fingers individually. And then after we're done sculpting them, go in and just apply them. So let's just sculpt them individually. Actually, this is a good stopping point. Let's just do this stopping point. Let's do a quick like turnaround and see see if there's places we can grab to make it, you know, exaggerate his shape a little bit. His face is looking a lot better. It was kind of rough for a second. But I think we definitely got it into a good a good position. And this is where the art comes into play. Now we're not we're not as focused on anatomy right now. This is more artistic, like artistic what artistically what feels right, with the emphasis on silhouette. Because when this character is posed in a certain way. What is that pose when he lands? What does it look like? What does he look like? How is he shaped? What is his silhouette? How is it portrayed to the camera? That's where you want to end up landing. little area see I'm really loving see this see that like nice nice curvature there that's what you want that nice curvature that's that makes that's a considered artistic style like you define that you define your own style however you want that to be yep.
Yeah, move faster. Right. Come on. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Boom, all right. So, again, we're going to continue on. I'm really liking where we landed with this character. He, his silhouette looks good. Um, we got to, again, tweak the armor. The armor is almost like there because, again, it's a hard, it's hard surface. So a lot of the armor is like pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. So we might just, you know, just do a little bit of hard surface modeling where you can see that in the next lesson. But this is really, this is coming along. This is coming along nicely. All right, so boom, there it is. You got to see how we sculpt. How you do some light sculpting of an actual character at the end of the day we did mostly the body of the character so you can do light sculpting of the character just like that utilizing the same tools we do and in, in, in essence to give you an overview in essence you're gonna push pull add layers um, draw use a draw brush and all this stuff but when you're moving everything once you get it to where it looks rough it's starting to look rough make sure you hit that remesh once you remesh, then you smooth it out, do it all over again, and keep doing that over and over and over again until you get the shapes where they need to be. Again, that's that's the main key to the whole process of, is use the draw, draw, uh, draw sculpting tools, the draw brushes to pretty much get the shapes, move the, move the, move the vertices, and start to get the shapes, and it's gonna start to look blocky and all messed up. And naturally, a beginner would be like, you will try to smooth it out. But before you smooth it out, before you smooth it out, hit that remesh button. After you hit the remesh button, then smooth it out, then do it all over again while pulling and pulling and, I mean, pulling and pushing and uh, drawing and, you know, all of the above, adding layers, clay layers, all of this stuff. So really, when you make those small adjustments, remesh, 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 smooth, remesh, smooth, remesh, smooth, over and over again until you get exactly the shape you're looking for. Um, I hope this video was valuable to you. We could have went into, well, not in this lesson, but you can take it where you do, met, um, do sculpting for the actual armor as well, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna, in the next lesson, show you how to do some hard surface modeling for the armor and hard surface modeling is ideal for when you are creating like you know hard objects being like cars you know products things like that hard surface modeling is the way to go but when you have something more organic like this sculpting you can never go wrong so with that being said hey i will see you all in the next lesson later y'all peace hey do that one thing that takes you closer to your goals like i always say do that one thing that takes you closer to your goals today right now so with that being said i will see you again all in the next lesson later y'all peace